Hello for you. I'm Jarrell, the developer of the Silver Falls games. Welcome to Sungran. And I just wanted to share a little bit of one of our upcoming games with you. So I've just uh, sorted out a video system here so I can record some gameplay. Uh, and this is gameplay of our upcoming 3DS game, which is Silver Falls Gaiden Deathly Delusion Destroyers. So I just recently announced that I'm packaging two games into one. So I have picked up uh, a canceled game uh, that was originally in, in development for a 3DS. Uh, and I'm packaging that into uh, Gaiden 3Ds. So that way people can have uh, more fun to play since it's the end of the eShop for the 3DS and Wii U. Uh, I'm really pushing to get as much uh, quality uh, variety content on the console as much as I can. So this is a, a, a kind of game where you can spend a lot of time uh, doing whatever you want. You'll be able to um, chop down trees, uh, collect resources, build a bunch of um, your own kind of custom structures. Every There'll be a bunch of different um, or save files. You know, you can probably, I don't know, 15, 20 save files uh, in your game. So you every time you start a save file, uh, the world will be a bit randomly generated. So the terrain itself will be the same, but the content on the terrain will be different for each save file. Uh, and uh, what's on the recording here, it's a, it's a little bit stuttery because of, of the recording, uh, but on the console itself, uh, it's extremely smooth frame rate. I'm getting um, generally between 50 and 60 frames a second for the most part. And you can see how how uh, much stuff there is, and this is still quite early in development, um, in terms of uh, the design of the level. But there's a uh, I'm just stress testing uh, how much uh, how densely populated I can uh, make the game with trees uh, and bushes. Uh, I'll be testing grass and whatnot. Uh, but on the hardware itself, it's extremely smooth. But on on the video, it's not as smooth. Uh, but uh, you'll see when the game does launch, it's it's extremely smooth. So this is um, uh, Ruby River, which is packaged into Gaiden 3Ds. And the reason why I've decided to revive this is because I was using um, a lot of the framework that I built for Ru Ruby River. I always intended to use that in future games as well. So it was sort of um, like a stepping stone uh, for upcoming uh, titles that I had planned. Um, I'm just walking around in circles here. I don't really have anywhere to go. Uh, and I was using that framework for guiding on the Wii U. And I thought, well, if I'm if I'm uh, very efficient with my planning and my timing, um, then whatever I create on the Wii U, I, I can backport that onto the 3DS and I can revive one of the canceled titles. Uh, so we're no longer able to register new game codes um, with Nintendo. So we can't um, ask them to create um, new games. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll package this game into uh, Gaiden 3Ds and then just have it be a free bonus game. Uh, and I think that's something that people um, will enjoy and have fun with. So I've just brought up a template here uh, and it sort of uh, helps you see where you're going to place something. Uh, and if, if there's something in the way, you won't be able to place that. You can uh, rotate this guide here. Uh, and so uh, let's see here. Maybe I'll do that. I'll rotate this. This is a placeholder wall. Uh, in the final version, it will be different. Um, but that's just to help me uh, sort of get a feel for what's going on here. There you go. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, there you go. And so the uh, game for Gaiden 3Ds, uh, it will be similar now to um, Gaiden on the Wii U in that there will be a, a day-night cycle. Uh, and so during the day, you'll want to, uh, never mind that it's floating, I was just adjusting some things and testing some things. So uh, during the day, uh, you'll want to run around, collect resources, you'll want to get food, uh, you know, get um, wood and stone and whatever you can find, try and hunt animals. And during the night, you'll be attacked by uh, creatures and monsters. So uh, hopefully you'll have a nice fort that you can climb up into and then sort of wait uh, wait out the night until it becomes safe again. So this will not have multiplayer. This will be a, a single player 
uh, game, but Gaiden on the Wii U will be five players. You'll get to work together with five people, and that'll be top-down. You, you'll you see your character. It won't be a first-person game on the Wii U. So you can sort of see that it, it will be very detailed. There will be a, 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 a lot of detail in this world, so I'm stress-testing it right now before... Uh, I finalize the systems that allow the game to, when you start your save file, it'll uh, dynamically uh, populate the world with trees, grass, bushes, and and what have you. So, um, yeah, I uh, just wanted to check in with you guys. Uh, it's getting to the point where uh, I really need to get these games uh, submitted, so I'm running very low on time at this point. Uh, and my energy levels are, are they're bottomed out. <laughs> I've pushed really hard to get these titles ready. They're all really close to, to being ready uh, to submit. Um, but it, I, I can only eat so many Doritos and, and eat so much candy. And I can only drink so much coffee um, to where I get to the end of the night. And it's, uh, I just have to, to clock out. So um, this is this area is two square kilometers. It's quite large, so you can um, collect resources. You can build your your uh, fort, you know, wherever you want to put it. It's it's a pretty huge area, you know. There's a couple ponds, a couple lakes. Um, there's a river over there. So you can see it's quite big. It it, it takes a while to traverse uh, the entire thing. And this is something that I hope people can just have a fun, chill experience with. Um, and it's it's sort of like create your own um, environment with your fort and whatnot. So there you go. Um, there was a, a bit of an issue uh, that I found uh, last night, um, where uh, last year was just exhausting for me in terms of development, and it looks like I forgot to uh, hit send on a request to Nintendo for Ghoulbusters. So I received the game code uh, for Ghoulbusters for North America, and that means that I've registered the game with Nintendo and I have the all green light to um, develop and publish that game in North America. I was exhausted. I must have not sent um, the email through to Europe. And so I checked my files last night. Turns out um, I didn't have the game code for Europe, which is a little bit of an issue because um, the deadline for um, for registering games has passed. You can no longer register more games, uh, new game codes, uh, with Nintendo. So I sent them an email and I said, I've got a, a canceled, um, pro I explained the situation. I said, can I, uh, I've got a game code for a canceled project that I won't be um, using. Can I take that game code? Can we just rename it? Um, and I explained, you know, I, I, I have the game code um, for North America, but not Europe. Um, and I, uh, explained the situation with the seven titles, um, and I was, I was very worried because I didn't think they would get back to me, and I, I fully expected they would just say, you know, hey, it's a bit, it's a bit late in the day, you know, and our, our policy was we're no longer, um, accepting these codes, so I, I haven't, uh, fully implemented, uh, the underwater yet, so the camera's supposed to show underwater effects. That'll be, of course, finalized, uh, when the time comes. And, um, uh, Nintendo got back to me within a couple hours, uh, and they said, um, send us the details and then uh, we'll organize it. And, um, so I, and I, I've been seeing, you know, some negativity from people online, like saying, oh, you know, Nintendo doesn't want, uh, uh, developers doing this. Oh, they're picking on their indie developers. But for this entire process, um, starting with, um, Wii U and, um, working after I announced the seven titles total, um, Oh, it looks a bit funny on the screen, doesn't it? Um, they've been working pretty pretty close with me, and they've been extremely supportive on these games. And um, the fact that they got back to me so quickly, and they they said we'll organize um, the game code, they uh, shows that they through my dealings with them regarding the seven games, and they they've allowed me to to um, get these seven games out despite the um, eShop announcement. Um, it's it's pretty heartening and it's exciting and, and it, it tells me that they do really want to get these games to uh, the players because it's extra you know uh, work for them after they've already uh, sort of said um, there's we're not issuing any more game codes so the fact that they they fixed that up and organized that for us it, to me it tells me that they do want to get these games out to fans and that 
that they're going out of the way to, to um, process this stuff quickly. Um, I'm extremely grateful to Nintendo. I'm, uh, and I just want to reiterate, you know, that Nintendo's not closing down the eShop to be cruel, you know, and say, aha, that's what you get for still using the 3DS. That They're not saying that at all. You know, it's, what, 11, 12, going on 12 years old? Um, it's just how these things work. Um, but the fact that they've been working so closely with me on getting these games ready to send out to people, is it's... it's that's a sign of, of appreciation for the fans, because I explained to them the reason why I'm pushing so hard to get these games in, you know, uh, and that's when they started working um, and communicating quite closely with me, and they, they really are, um, you know, putting in the effort and time to help me get these games organized, um, and that's partly because I assured them, look, I, I've got a couple weeks, but I think I can get these seven games in, and I, I'm certain people will really enjoy it, and they took me uh at my word and they said okay sure if you can do it um let's do it then uh and oh man <laughs> i'm i'm really uh running low on my energy reserves here but i i absolutely will get these games uh i will get all seven submitted before the end of the month and then over the next few weeks i will finalize and finish each of them and, and then uh make sure I get in all the content that each game needs, and then prepare them uh, for launch. So I'm white inside at Sombra. Again, I'm just fine um, tuning some last minute things. Uh, I'm doing the paperwork and I'm getting ready to submit that. I'm really hoping I can get that 100% submitted uh, tomorrow. It's my first time submitting a Wii U title. So there's, there's a bit of learning curve in terms of the, um, the sort of the submission process. So I'm still going through that right now. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and spam this. Uh, ah, r uh, right now I, I have infinite um, uh, resources uh, so I can test it, but I'll just spam this and I'll, I'll sort of show you, um, oh, ah, dang, I'll sort of show you, you can, you can break those and, and get some resources back if you wanted, if you wanted, uh, let's see here, okay, here we go, we, we. Uh, oh yes, so all the upcoming games that I've announced will run on all models. Um, this actually runs quite decently even on, on the old 3DS and the 2DS. It actually works um, quite smoothly, and I'm, I'm very happy with that. Obviously, when you put um, the stereoscopic mode on on the old 3DS, um, uh, there's a, 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 a minor performance hit. It's not really a huge deal, but we'll see... Uh, you know, I'll test and refine and I'll make it as good as I can be. I don't know how many of these have I made, so I'm going to turn back. Okay, get rid of the guide. So you can see I've, uh, I'm looking at all the stuff that I've created. Uh, I've, I've worked really hard to stress test this and design it to where um, it'll work really well. You can build huge structures, you can build a ton of stuff. On the hardware, it's still running. It's actually smoother on the, on the hardware than it is on... Um, so, uh, yeah, you can see that, that that's a lot of, that's a lot, and the game is still running smoothly. Again, the video is choppier than it, than it runs on actual hardware. So, yeah, and, uh, that's a lot of, yeah, I was just spamming it, so. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that bit of a, a sneak peek at that. Um, uh, I probably have huge, deep, dark circles under my eyes, uh, I haven't been getting enough sleep, but I have very little time to get these games in. So uh, I'm just trying to get the games uh, into a state where I can submit them, and then we're we're home free. So I just want to thank everyone again for your support. I want to thank all of you for, for sending messages and, and letting me know that you're looking forward to these games. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting these games out uh, to you, and then we can uh, have a chat about them and when this is this is our way to celebrate the 3ds and the wii u so for all of us that still like using these consoles i'm trying to make these games in a way to where you can play them for a long time and still enjoy them uh this is our way to celebrate that and look we don't have to be bummed out about the 3ds and the wii u eShop. Uh, nintendo's giving us this chance to to add these uh these games last minute and it's it's our way to view things in a positive light to celebrate it so i just I want to thank everyone for um, 
letting me know that you're looking forward to it and, and for being so supportive and um, for showing me that you trust me to make these games uh, to be good quality and enjoyable because a lot of people, um, they're, they're telling me that, you know, uh, can you please tell me the, the price so I can preload uh, the money into my account? So the fact that um, people uh, haven't even seen much of the games yet and they trust me to make something that's worthwhile, I really appreciate that. I want to do my absolute best to make games that are that are really worthwhile for all of you. Um, and because of what's going on in Europe, I don't want to announce the prices yet. Again, I, I sort of mentioned it in the other video, but um, food and gas is going to be a bit more expensive around the world for a while. So I I want to sell these games a bit cheaper than, than what I was um, planning and what I had sort of announced to some people before I was aiming for 25 USD, um, 22 euros for White Inside It's Umbra and the other games were sort of between um, 10 and, and $16. Um, and I'm just keeping an eye on the situation again. Um, uh, I'm going to be selling the games um, noticeably substantially cheaper in Europe uh, than I had originally planned. Uh, and I'm just going to see where, where sort of the world economy is when the games uh, are getting close to launch. And I do understand and respect that um, everyone has to load money into their accounts ahead of time. And, and you know, time is, is sort of running out on that. But um, I, I appreciate all of you uh, for your patience and, and for your understanding. Um, and I'll, I'll announce the uh, prices officially once I feel comfortable um, uh, doing that and I, I can see where we are uh, in the world at the moment. So everyone, please be safe. Um, please be, um, uh, yeah, careful. Take, take care of yourselves. Be good. Um, I'm, I'm rambling now. I've been, I've been working very hard all week. Uh, I, I'm uh, probably going to get back to work and do a little bit more. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Um, take care of yourselves. Be well.